Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Is your daughter, is your sister here today? Pastor Esther Omonua Ujaburu. You are all welcome to my channel. God bless you all. First and foremost, I want to appreciate all my viewers. My last video, I appreciate all your comments, your prayers. I say God richly bless you. Those of you that have subscribed, God bless you. Those of you that have not subscribed, please help your sister. Help your daughter. Praise the Lord. Help to share. Help to subscribe. Is your sister here? Is your daughter here? Help to subscribe. Help your sister. As you do so, God richly bless you. Those of you that are subscribed, God bless you. Don't fail to share. Don't fail to subscribe. As you do so, my God will richly meet you at the point of name. In Jesus' name, I have prayed. Amen. Is your daughter here today again? We stay on the same topic. I'm staying on that the same topic. Honor in marriage. So I know some people out there will say, What did she know about marriage? Yeah. It's not what you know, it's what God has given you the vision to do. Praise the Lord. And I thank God the process which God has took me through in marriage. At least I know little about marriage. Praise the Lord. And we talk about honor in marriage. We talk about fear in marriage today. Our topic is going to be forgiveness and, and unforgiveness. Now, first of all, let me talk about unforgiveness. The implication of unforgiveness in marriage. Unforgiveness is like a cancer that eats. It eats you within. And unforgiveness causes so many obstacles in marriage. Unforgiveness in marriage can block man's way. It can block the woman's way. It spoils things in the home. It slows down the progress of the home. It held destiny down. Not even the person you are doing it to, but to your own self. Praise the Lord. When you read the book of Matthew, Matthew 18, 21 to 22. You know what the Bible says there? Peter asked Jesus, he said, how many times? He asked Jesus a question. He said, how many times will my brother offend me or my sister offend me because, before I pick an offense? Hear what the Bible says. It said, 70 times 7. 70 times 7. Praise the Lord. 70 times 7 a day. 70 times 7 a day. What is the Bible trying to tell us? What is the word of God trying to tell us? That is, there is no room for it at all. Don't even give way. Don't give room. That's what the Bible is saying. But the devil know the implication. The devil know when there is united in a family, when husband and wife unite, when there is happiness in a family, when husband and wife and the children, everybody united, they will move mountain. Then devil try to cripple in. But some of us fail to realize this. Then we dance to the dance. We dance to the throne of the devil. So we be claiming right. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. It is right to be annoyed. But Bible say, don't sleep over it. Mostly in marriage, husband and wife. Mostly husband and wife. Don't let that annoyance take thing the following day. Don't take it thing the following day. Or you sleep over it. It's not good for the marriage. It's not good for you. As a woman, it's not good for you. As a husband, it's not good for you. It gave room to the devil to come in. Praise the Lord. We should learn to forgive. At times, it's difficult. When you've not been hit, you don't know what all forgiveness is. All forgiveness is not just a thing you say, oh, my husband lied. Or the, no, no, there are things that are really deep. 
There are issues that are really deep that you need the grace of God to forgive. If you are not be there, you will know how difficult it is. But what I am here to say this time is, no matter how deep, no matter how, how, how painful it is, learn to forgive. When a man or a woman commits adultery or whatever, whatever it is, because some, some person there will say, oh, Bible say when you catch your wife on adultery or whatever, you can give a divorce paper for, for the party to go. But when you still go into detail in the Bible, when you read it further, you will discover that even from the beginning, God hates it. God hates it. God did not permit it. He said, whatever. I have joined together. Let no man put asunder. What is that thing? Do you want to do you want of forgiveness to put asunder into your marriage? Praise the Lord. Forgive. No matter what your husband has done to you, forgive him. No matter what your wife has done to you, forgive her. There is power in forgiveness. Forgive. Let it go. Forgive. So we say, oh no, I had enough. Oh no, no, it's too much. I quit the marriage. Since you quit the marriage, have you actually found that peace? Since you say, no, let's go our separate way. Have you found that peace? No. All you need is not quitting, is forgiveness. So spouse will be in the same house, but they are living separately just because of incidents that happen. I'm saying it, I'm not saying that it's easy. It's not easy. I know what I am talking about. But there is nothing that is too difficult that God cannot do. When you ask for that grace, you ask for that grace, God will give you the grace to let it go. When your wife commits an adultery or your, your husband commits an adultery, you are not the person to hold each other responsible. Already because the Bible says whoever that do it, God will judge. But by the time you are holding it yourself, you are taking the place of God in that judgment. But when you forgive, you allow God to have his way. You will see what God will do. I know there is somebody looking at me out there. Go back. Go back to her. Go back to him. Forgive and restore your home. This time I'm going to make two videos. I will only talk a little of this unforgiveness. Then we pray. The second session is just prayer. Because it's only God that can give you the grace. And this unforgiveness has tear so many homes apart, has destroyed so many destiny, has destroyed so many homes, so many, many lives are being destroyed because of all this unforgiveness. Please, my sister, my brother out there, forgive your wife, forgive your husband. It's difficult, but ask for the grace. Forgive, let it go, let it go. Restore your home, restore your happiness. Forgive and restore your happiness. Forgive and restore your happy home. When there is no forgiveness, things crumble, things go bad, things go wrong. Devil operates. But when there is forgiveness, devil has no place to operate in that home. You man looking at me out there, if you don't forgive that your wife, because Bible said it's for life, you've married her. There is no circumstance, there is no sin that will make you put her away. If God can forgive you, what makes you think you cannot forgive another person? Sin is sin. Sin is sin. You murder, you lie, you steal. You, 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 you disappoint. Sin, name it. Sin is sin. In the Bible, there is no way where God said this sin is bigger than the other. But the only sin that God talk about is 
immorality. Why? Because our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. It's the temple where the Holy Spirit of the living God dwells. But irrespective of that, we are still expected to forgive ourselves. Praise the Lord. That is where we're going to end this topic today. The next part two is coming. That one is merely for prayer. Because we need the grace. We can do it by our own self. We need God's grace to help us, to see all true. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for listening. Thank you for sharing. I bless God for your life. And I pray as you listen, as you watch this video, God in his, his power will bring deliverance, will bring healing. We are in every area in your home. You need healing. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed.